Hi guys, Miss Diane here, and I'm going to answer a couple questions. Um, the first one I have today for you is, should you tilt your bow? Okay, so a lot of people are wondering whether you should tilt the bow hair. And if you're going to do that, you need to have a good reason for it. Don't just do it because you saw someone else do it. Have some something in your mind as to why you're doing it. I'll give you two reasons why I do it. Well, maybe three. The first reason is when I'm approaching the uh, frog, if I don't tilt a little bit right here, I'm going to bump the seabout. So I just tell my students, lift one bow hair, and that's all. Never really on the side of the bow like this. Just lift one bow hair, clear that, then get the use of the entire bow. As soon as you can clear it on the down bow, flatten the bow hair again. And right here, as you turn and tilt, let the elbow come up too. Now, occasionally you will also maybe come into uh, experience the spiccato bow grip. And if it's done flat bow hair, it may be a little too heavy. If I turn it, I get a better sound. And you do the spiccato bow grip, or the bow bowing technique, you might want to tilt the bow there too. One other reason is you will see uh, pro players sometimes use the bow at the tip to fade out. So flat bow hair, and then sometimes they'll just gently turn the bow and fade out. And you can do it then. Anytime you want to tilt the bow, have a reason. Don't just do it because you think you're supposed to. Know why. Now, I tell my students to try to play flat bow hair. And you may see that the stick, sometimes when I play, it's a little forward, but still, that is flat bow hair. So lean your bow grip a little bit forward, like that to get weight into the string. So you can play forte by pushing the stick a little forward, but you're not really tilting the bow hair in that case. Hope that helps. See you soon. Bye-bye.